Hey guys, Skin Lumber for Life here, doing a video today. Um, actually, I was kind of surprised that this showed up today. Um, we did another trade with Brother Mike, Bullseye0169. And, um, you know, we were talked on the phone the other day about doing a trade. And, uh, you know, i always glad to do a trade with him. You know, if you guys have not gotten to do any trades with him or... Uh, you know, haven't checked his channel out, definitely, man. Uh, he is just a great all-around guy. Him and Vance are, like, the two, you know, best guys to get along with and talk with about knives and everything else, man. Definitely go check them out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description with both of their t um, stuff in there. There you, uh, tags. Um, well, I was sitting on my porch, and, uh, notice my battery's going dead. Sorry, I went up to do this a little quicker. Um, and I noticed the mail people were here, and uh, I went out and checked, and there was a box. Um, I already took the packaging off, just because the um, battery's almost dead. But um, me and Mike were talking about doing some tra uh, doing a trade, and uh, we were trading Benchmade for Benchmade, basically. And um, I sent him a BK755 NPR, and he sent me a um, 741 Lum Onslaught Axis. He told me this was a big knife, so we'll see. Uh, I have yet to look at it. So um, let's go ahead and open it up. Whoa, definitely a bigger knife. Um, <laughs> really big. But uh, I, like, I enjoy carrying bigger knives. That's, um, I don't know, I'm wild like that. Here's a size comparison first. Uh, here's an iPhone 4. Yeah, not too much bigger. Um, here is a, uh, Mannix 2. Kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's almost about a quarter of an inch. A, uh, Crucial Skyline. Browse SSF. Trying to hurry this up because the camera is really dead. And, um, CRK Sebi 21. So, um... Here we go, let's look at it real quick. And uh, I'll do a proper review and everything. Um, sorry, my battery is almost dead. Here it is. My Carta handles. He uh, feels like a FRN backspacer with aluminum liners, I'm guessing. Really nice looking. Um, kind of hard to tell on this camera, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting. I always say um, the videos are in 1080p, so definitely check that out. So the quality is really good, and uh, I usually just spend an extra hour uploading just so y'all can see nicely. Um, but um, I like to have so you can see. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I can flick it open with them. Um, that's even better. Here it is here. Let's see if I can get it. There's the Benchmade logo. Big old blade. And it looks like it's been high polished. Really good. Um, Mike, did somebody put a wick, uh, wicked edge this? Or... Somebody definitely did a good job on the edge. This is a mere polished edge. Can't, don't think the camera will even pick it up. Ooh. Looks sharp, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, here's on the other side. Lum Design, 154CM. And all I gotta say is this thing is big. Um, I mean, I pulled it way back there, and it's more of a pocket machete. Um, actually, the funny thing is I was looking. This knife would actually be considered illegal to even carry in Texas. Um, under state registration here. Um, we can carry a knife with an edge from four and one half of a half inch, which is kind of crappy for some reason. And this is four and two thirds of an inch. So uh, a little bit longer than legal, but whatever. They're not gonna know. You know, if they're pulling me over for some odd reason and they're wanting to search my pockets, there's more reasons to it than what I'm worried about, so. You know, whatever. Um, let's see. 
Um, 154cm, I've not messed with it too much. All I know is that it holds a very good edge. Um, it'll be interesting to see how good the Benchmade 154 is. I've not messed with the Benchmade version. I have um, messed with uh, the Manix 2 and 154. And it seems to be holding one heck of an edge still. I have yet to sharpen it. So we'll see how that works. Um, at the moment, that's all I can think of in 154 that I own. But um, this thing looks like it's really sharp. I mean, it has such a mirror edge on it. It is just... I don't know, let's see if I can get that to show it. It's really hard to show it on this. <sighs> Come on. Man, I'm running 1080p and I can't seem to get it working right. Well, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'll have to mess around with it and see if I can get it to show up. But it has a mirror edge. Come on. There we go. It is a mirror edge. Which, um... Kind of afraid to uh, mess with it much. Uh... <laughs> is um let's see if I can get the camera up. Sorry, it's a little messy right now. Uh my watch is in the background drawing I've done. Um I can actually close this one one handed, just with my thumb. Which is pretty nice. Uh <laughs> wonder if I'll get my finger caught in that one day. But um I don't think I will, probably. But um thanks for watching guys. Um Definitely look forward to a review on this one. I'm going to be carrying this one quite often, uh, for sure. This knife is pure awesome. I mean, you don't get much bigger than this. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, here we go. I'll do a quick comparison in size um, between the 4X compared, first of all. Uh, I would actually compare my... Um, 561, but it's downstairs, actually still in the car, um, I don't know, I, I took it out this morning, actually when I was working on my, uh, trying to rewire, um, some speakers in my, uh, 97 Cobra, and, uh, I don't know, I left it out in the car when I was rewiring, so, I don't know why I did that, but I'm gonna have to go get that now that I remember, um, here's a comparison, um, sorry about the viewing, uh, I don't know when the battery's gonna run dead, so, I uh, look forward to a full in-depth review, and, uh, definitely go check, um, Mike out, guys, uh, I could not be any happier with doing any trades with him, man, he is just an all-around great guy, I've done, this is my second trade I've done with him, and I will definitely be doing more in the future, I mean, uh, he goes completely out of his way to make sure the trade goes perfect. I mean, he call, he'll call you and talk to you on the phone, make sure that the trade is, you know, make sure the trade's going to be to your specifications and everything else. I mean, you can't can't go wrong with it, guys. I mean, definitely go check him out, man. I mean, um, I'm actually getting back to my roots and doing some trades with... Uh, the first two people that got me into the trades, you know, and um, talking with Vance to do again, uh, another trade, so that'll be another one with him. Um, should also be getting in another one Tuesday. This one will actually be a uh, really interesting knife to review because um, it's pr pr quite popular right now on YouTube, and uh, I'm happy to get it. You know, it's another one through Blade Forms. Um, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Um, they actually got a huge trade form specifically for people that are looking for certain knives and uh, you know if they can't find it you can look them you know you could do a uh, a one like a one ad and somebody will probably get to you about it so um, thanks for watching subscribe rate and comment check out the links below guys and uh, thanks again Mike couldn't be any happier man um, hopefully you'll get the knife well, you'll definitely get it Tuesday, um, sadly, since it's a weekend. 
I uh, forgot to mention, have a safe weekend, guys. Have fun. Uh, you know, be safe and uh, remember to protect your rights. Have a good day. Thanks again, Mike. And as always, stay safe, stay sharp, and protect your rights. So, see you later, guys.